What is up everybody? Uh, I've been asked to do a video on how food affects our psychology. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, as someone who has said in the past, food is mood. I'm a big proponent and believer that what you eat affects how you feel and your overall wellness in life. And there are many reasons why I believe this from uh, serotonin, this, the production of serotonin. 90% um, of our serotonin is produced in our gut. And from the research I was doing, uh, fibrous foods, foods with fiber are more beneficial in helping uh, serotonin being produced and that is why I believe that whenever you eat uh, a whole food plant-based lifestyle you're gonna feel a lot better not only are you going to keep things running things aren't going to be stagnating and polluting uh, the system because it's waste and waste wants to be eliminated and if you're eating a diet that is backing you up then you have toxins polluting your body if you pollute your intestines you're also polluting your mind so the fiber is helping in that way but serotonin is better produced whenever um, the food is 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 whole and natural and it's got fiber it's not processed so that is one of the areas in which I say, you know, that's why, you know, I promote whole food plant based is because better serotonin production, fiber, fiber helps things uh, move. And serotonin is beneficial in making you feel good. It's uh, one of the uh, four uh, chemicals, neurotransmitters in the body that. Uh, is uh, responsible for happiness. So there's dopamine, there's oxytocin, there's serotonin and endorphins. So that is one area. The, the another area is a study that was conducted by Pottinger in the 30s. And Pottinger had this experiment where he got loads and loads of cats and put them in different groups. One group at natural foods meant for cats, which is raw meat. And the other group had um, the same foods, but it was all cooked. And some some of the cats actually got um, condensed milk and stuff instead of regular uh, cow milk and stuff. I mean, cat milk. Uh, they got like condensed milk or powdered milk and stuff like that. And what he found was the first group went on to develop healthy bodies, um, healthy behaviors, and the second group. We um, went on to develop a lot of diseases, a lot of ill behavior. They were just acting abnormal. And with every generation of the group being fed the, the cooked meat and the processed foods, they developed uh, worse and worse conditions in terms of ill, Ill, um, Ill behaviors and uh, uh, diseases. You know, they're just, they weren't being, their brains and bones and stuff like that weren't being uh, formed right. So, with that study, that goes to show that the closer we can eat to raw natural foods, whole natural foods, the better off uh, we're going to be. Because there was something that was cooked out of uh, the cat's food, which is taurine, later to be discovered. However, whenever you apply this to humans, and whenever you apply this to all species, that... Whenever you take the, run, the the natural food that was supposed to be for any species and you cook it, you could be potentially cooking out a component that is essential for the um, mental and physical um, benefits of that species. So that's why I'm saying um, the closer we can get to natural whole food, food sources, the better off we're going to be mentally and physically and I've had a lot of people and I've seen a lot of people in Pottinger Cat's videos being like this means we're supposed to eat raw meat <laughs> if we were carnivores yes if we were carnivores yes we are forgivers herbivorous we have tricolor vision to better spot out fruits and stuff in the environment our teeth is it goes in a sideways motion to allow us to grind and chew 
we don't have canines our hands we don't have claws we don't have claws we ain't clawing animals we don't have claws we have perfect hands for picking fruits we have a long digestive system because meat has no fiber so if you have a long digestive system and you're putting something that has no fiber in it it's not going to move as fast fiber helps things move that's why carnivores have a small digestive system get it in get it out because ultimately anything that wants to come out of you is going to be waste and you don't want waste in the system longer than it should that's why we have long digestive system because we're meant to be eating plant foods because plants have fiber fruit has fiber helps it move helps it move okay and as well we have a negative emotional response to seeing animals being killed animals being slaughtered and if we don't it's because we're more likely either psychopaths or we've been conditioned out of that by seeing so much we will be conditioned out of it but you say that's a lion a lion is going to have no problem seeing a gazelle being killed because it's going to be start to salivate it's going to want to go over there and eat it blood guts and everything so yeah so that's that's another area that i would point that the closer we can get to eating raw whole plant foods the better do you have to be 100 percent raw i don't know but trying to get you know the, the salads trying to get um the fruit smoothies as well as coming close to as whole natural foods as possible potatoes rice corn sweet potatoes beans and stuff in their whole natural form is going to be the best thing we can do in terms of our mental well-being is this undeniable after the pottinger's cats and um, seeing that a serotonin, 90% of serotonin is produced in our gut and it favors whole foods. And just overall, our reduction in our likelihood of getting the top main killers, as Dr. Greger points out in his lectures, the heart disease, the cancers, the strokes, and all these different things. The reduction in our likelihood of getting that is going to be beneficial for our overall psychology because whenever you're going through an illness like that you know you're just adding you're adding more to you're adding more to the plate i mean you're just you're just adding more mental stress to the plate for going through that you know we've all we've all been we've all been there at some point we've all been really sick and you just you're just not feeling the greatest so Dr. Greger has already shown that eating a whole food plant-based lifestyle is our best best chances of reducing or even eliminating our um, our the possibility of getting our the the main killers that's attacking us at the moment with number one being heart disease so it's imperative that we focus on whole plant foods and it just shows that food can affect our psychology because the healthier we are the, the better we're gonna feel because we're not battling our t our top killers so with that being said, let me know. Oh, geez, I almost forgot. <laughs> I almost forgot. No, I'm not going to conclude this without this. Without this. Uh, if, you, if you're not eating enough food, you're not going to have enough energy. If you're not eating enough food, you're not going to have enough energy. And that's just, that's going to affect your mood big time. I wrote that in my notes. So I just popped pop back into my head. If you're not eating enough food, you're not going to have enough energy to feel vital, to feel... To feel your best so our natural foods fruit is has got glucose in it fructose etc um starches um it's got it's got glucose breaks down into the body sugar the this sugar runs um the whole body the brain and that's what gives us energy and a lot of the times whenever people don't have enough energy it could be that they're not eating enough of you know fruits um, starches things that give you energy okay so that's another way if you don't if you don't eat enough you're not gonna have enough energy and sometimes people are eating the a diet a ketogenic diet of like meat and like vegetables and stuff like you know, non-starchy vegetables one of their main things is that they, they rely a lot on caffeine because um, you're gonna you're getting the energy predominantly um, from caffeine <laughs> basically basically they're tired all the time and they end up uh, binging on junk food because 
they're glucose deprived. So that's another thing I would say. Eat enough and you have tons of energy. And that's another way food can affect your psychology by giving you energy to be able to like actually live this life. So with that being said, if you want food, if you want recipes, high carb recipes to give you tons of energy, smoothies, salads, um, starches, beans, etc. Then I've written a book, Plant Based to the Face. Link is in the bio. Pick up your copy if you want to see what I eat on this lifestyle. High carb, plant based, low fat. It's oil free, it's gluten free, it's not free. I know a lot of people out there are allergic to that and stuff like that. I don't. I have problems with oil, nuts, and gluten. That's why I've, I eliminated them. So check it out and uh, support this channel. Like and share this video. How food affects your psychology. If you can think of anything else, let me know in the comment section below. Peace.